And how are you doing today? Thank you. Do you have any comment, Joe? I think the, the notice of appeal uh, speaks for itself. Um, and obviously, we are, we are um, going to address the issues that were put before the court, before the, uh, this judge, and, and uh, uh, to the extent that we can, we'll prosecute that appeal. Why did you opt not to pursue the evidentiary hearing today? The evidentiary hearing about the leak? Yeah. I, I thought it was a distraction, to be perfectly frank with you. Um, I've been in these hearings before, and it's, it's a mystery that's never solved. So, uh, and uh, I wasn't going to spend resources and time on that on that hearing. So you don't think that, it, that you would have successfully been able to get the, the charges dismissed based on the issue of this leak? Look, I, I've stated my opinion. Uh, I, I think I think that in a perfect world that would have happened, but it didn't happen. We didn't ha we didn't have access to the information. We didn't have uh, subpoena power. We didn't have the ability to launch our own investigation. And I think, frankly, I was just you know afraid of being just distracted by something that that uh, I really didn't believe was going anywhere. Who do you think leaked those reports? <laughs> I have my thoughts, but I won't express them here. Thank you, guys. Ms. Kim, do you have anything to say? No, I don't. Thank you. Ms. Kim, do you just plan to delay this?